Hello, welcome to the We are discussing linear inequality and this is lecture number 2. I hope you have already watched part 1 before watching this part 2 for better concept. So, let us start today. Uh, this is lecture number 2 in which I am going to discuss uh, about uh, some rules in inequality holds for calculation. About the rules in any linear inequality uh, rules first one. Uh, rules in inequalities right so inequalities is a comparison between two things now so inequality is basically comparison between two things so if i am saying that uh, x1 is less than x2 or x is less than y say x is less than y first rule is that if x is less than y, then x plus k is less than y plus k, where k is any constant, k is any constant, right now. So, here if inequality, sign of inequality will not change. Similarly, if x, then x minus k is also less than y minus k, where k is any constant, k is any constant, right now means k can be positive or negative. So, either we subtract the equal things or we add equal things, the sign of inequality will not change. Means, uh, if it was greater than, then also it will be same. x is greater than y, then x plus k is greater than y plus k. And if x is uh, greater than y, then x minus k is greater than y minus k. So, where k is any constant means sign of inequality that is sign of inequality will not change by adding or subtracting a positive constant. So, the here conclusion is that conclusion is that inequality will not change not change if a positive constant positive constant is added or subtracted subtracted both the sides both the sides right so this is what you can understood by some examples as well that is suppose 10 is less than 15 and if I the sides so 10 minus 5 is less than 15 minus 5 this employee 5 is less than 10 which is true which is true so similarly if you can subtract 5 from i have subtracted if you will add 5 both the sides then what will happen by adding 5 both the sides then also inequality will be same 15 and that will be 20 and this is also true so conclusion is that if either add or subtract the sign of inequality will not change now, what about multiplication and division? So, let me write here. If x is less than y, then kx is less than ky, where k is positive constant. k is positive. Positive constant. Positive constant. Right? k is positive constant. Sign of inequality will not change. x by y Say, since x by y, if x is less than y and we divide it by k, if x is less than y and we divide it by k, then also the sign of inequality will not change. x is less than y and x by k is less than y by k, then where k is any positive constant, sign of inequality will not Let us consider, suppose 10 is less than 20. Isn't it? That is true. No doubt about it. So, 10 multiply by 2 and 20 multiply by 2. Inequality will also hold. Isn't it? 10 into 2 is 20 and 20 into 2 is 40. So, inequality is hold. Hold. Good. Holds. Right now? True. Okay. Now, if I divide 10 by 2 and 20 by 2, then divide both the side by 2, then also the output is 5 is less than 10 and which also holds true, which is true, right now, which is true. So, 
in that case whether we divide or multiply by a caustic constant the sign of inequality will not change so here the conclusion is conclusion that is rule number 3 if we divide or multiply by a positive constant positive constant both the sides constant both the sides sign of inequality will not change sign of inequality change. will not change right if it is less than or greater than don't think that it will always be applicable for less than it is also applicable for greater than for example 30 is greater because 50 is greater than 30 then 50 divided by 5 is greater than 5 that is this employee 10 is 10 is greater than 6 isn't it so that will be 10 is greater than 6 which is true which is true isn't it Similarly, if you multiply this 50 by 5 and 30 multiplied by 5, 5 is positive constant. So, in that case, this is 250 and 150, which also holds true, which is whole. Let us think about uh, some uh, number 4 is there. Say, if x is less than y, this employee x by k is greater than k. If k is negative constant negative constant right x is also k x is greater than k y if k is negative constant right it means if you multiply by negative number then sign of inequality will be changed x is less y it will be greater than there is a sign less than similarly if x is greater than y then x by k will be less than y by k if k is negative and kx say kx is greater than this is greater than then it would be less than right so that would be less than ky if k is negative constant k is negative constant right now that is k is less than 0 so whenever we multiply the conclusion is that uh, let me explain with some uh, examples as well say 30 is less than 50 if you divide by 2 30 divided by minus 2 and 50 divided by minus 2 then what will happen this will be minus 50 and this will be minus 25 of course minus 25 is less than this minus 2 so if you divide it this employee minus 15 is greater than minus 25 and which holds true isn't it which holds good good similarly if 30 is uh, say 50 is greater than 30 again and if you divide by 2 the same thing will come right same thing will come if uh, 50 is divided by 10 and 30 is divided by 10 or multiply by minus 10. Say 50 is multiply by minus 10 and 30 is multiply by minus 10. So since minus 10 is a negative number, since we have multiplied then sign of the output will be what? Output will be minus 500 and minus 300. So minus 500 is definitely less than minus 300. So, sign of inequality will change. So, conclusion is that, conclusion is that, here is some conclusion and conclusion is, conclusion is, if we multiply or divide both the sides, both the sides, in an inequality in an inequality inequality in an inequality the sign of the 
साइन ऑफ इन इक्वालिटी मल्टीप्लाई बोथ द साइड्स बाय इन इन एन इन इक्वालिटी बाय ए नेगेटिव कांस्टेंट बाय ए नेगेटिव कांस्टेंट नेगेटिव कांस्टेंट द साइन ऑफ इन इक्वालिटी नेगेटिव कांस्टेंट बाय ए नेगेटिव कांस्टेंट द साइन ऑफ इन इक्वालिटी विल रिवर्स द साइन ऑफ इन इक्वालिटी विल चेंज विल चेंज चेंज मींस रिवर्स रिवर्स लेस देन विल बी ग्रेटर देन एंड ग्रेटर देन विल बी less than. so this is what conclusion is so the thing is when we multiply by uh, any can be added or subtracted or multiply or divide sign of inequality will not change i hope you got it sign of inequality will not change so positive number either added subtracted multiply or divide in that case sign of inequality will not change but if we multiply or divide only a negative number then sign inequality will change even in addition or subtraction a number can be added or subtracted the sign of inequality not change only change when there is a multiplication or division so whenever there is a multiplication or division by a negative number a negative function even then sign inequality will change because we are not discussing function now it is beyond of your capacity of this class so that is why i use word number so or constant any constant which is negative or negative constant if multiplied both the sides the sign of it, i hope you got it now let us discuss some questions side uh, and uh, start from exercise of your book ncrt that i am going to solve here 6.1 the first question is given here solve 24x is less than 100 when the first question is when x is a natural number right now when x is a natural number this is the first question and second question is given here also that x is an integer x is an integer integer so what will be that in that case solution will be how to deal with this question or solve this question solution is 24x is less than 100 this employee x is less than 100 by 20 he divided both the sides by 24 so 24 24 cancel and uh, 100 divided by 24 because 24 is a positive number so when we divide by 24 both the side the sign of inequality will not change and that cancel 4 times 4 6 24 24 25 generated so this employee x is less than 25 by 4 uh, 6 that is 6 4 4 1 by 6 isn't it so x is less than this is what but for first question it is said that since x is a natural number is a natural number so what will be the natural number less than 4. Point something 4.16 natural number lex x can have value natural number start from 1 so 1 2 3 and 4 this is the solution right now for second question a integer so x is an integer integer can be positive or negative right now so x can have value x can have value Uh, minus three dot 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 you know less than this so we can write here uh, dot 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 minus three that is minus four minus two minus one zero one two three and there will be infinite number so x is an integer an integer can be infinite again question is given question number two is uh, minus twelve x minus twelve x is greater than thirty when first first part is x is a natural number x is a natural number natural number and second is x is a 
an integer. X is an integer. Integer, right? So what we'll do? Uh, if you divide by 12, minus 12, the sign of inequality will change. So minus 12 will go that side to divide it, the sign of inequality will change. It is less than 30 by minus 12. 30 by minus 12, 6 to the 12 and 6 by 30. So x is, this employee, x is less than minus 5 by 2. That is x is less than minus 2.5. So, less than minus 2.5, there is no natural number. So, for first question, there is no solution. So, for first, there is no solution. No solution or we can write 5. For second part, less than minus 2.5 and integer is minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, like dot, dot, dot. So, this will be the solution. So, for second part, less than minus 2.5, it can be minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, etc. So that will be the solution. So I hope you got it. Right. Now let us solve question number 3. Third question, it is given here that uh, solve 3x minus 5x minus 3. It is given here 5x minus 3 is less than 7 when x is an integer. First one x is an integer integer and second x is a real number a real number right so for solution we can write here 5x minus 3 is less than 7 3 can be added both the sides so 5x can be less than 10 and x can be less than 2 divide by 5 sign of inequality will not change for first, but since x is an integer, it is not given whether positive or negative integer. So less than 2, value can be minus 3, minus 2, 0, 1, etc. That can be value of x. So x can have value like this. And second, x is a real number. A real number. So real number and integer. Integer is only integral number. Wherever real number can be uh, 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7, etc. So in that case, real number can be any number less than 2. Less than 2 till what? Till minus infinity. So x is lies between minus infinity to 2. And 2 is not included. So you need to write here open interval. And infinity is always an open interval. So you can write answer like this. And that will be also. Right? So I hope you got this. On number line system even you can represent but since it is not asked to represent on number line system so I have a question and concept I would like to tell you that what is the meaning of this if it is a number line system and here is 2 in that case what will happen this is 2 uh, if it is 2 this is 1 this is 0 this is 3 this is 4 minus 1 this is minus 2 so any number which is lies less than 2, that will be answer. Less than 2. Right? So numbers lies less than 2 will be answer. Right? Any numbers less than 2 will be answer. And here uh, 2 will have what? 2 is not included. So it is not a solid but it is a Hmm. So that must be a hollow square. Okay. So 2 is not included. And here you can write an infinite solution. Now taking question number 4. And question number 4 is given that solve 3x plus 8 is less is greater than 2. 3x plus 8 is greater than greater than 2. And we have to so when x is an integer and x is an real number. Same question where when x is an integer and x is a real x is an integer first question is x is an integer and second one is x is a real number is a real number right 
so we can write here that 3x is greater than 2 minus 8 8 will come this side it will be negative so 3x is greater than minus 6 and x is greater than minus 2 3 divide by 3 and 3 is positive number so any sign of inequality will not change so when x is an integer now the answer is when x is an integer solution when first for first x is an integer integer then greater than minus 2 will be x can have value minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 like this there will be infinite solutions and for second when x is an is a real number then any number greater than minus 2 will be the solution so x belong to open interval minus 2 to infinity infinity is also an open interval and if you want to uh, just know that how it can be represented on number line system you can have like this this is a say number line right here and on this number line this is 2 there is 1 this is 0 greater than minus 2 no? so it can be minus 2 say minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 here uh, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 like this, this is minus 1, 0, 1, 2 like that. So here the solution can be like this from greater than minus 2, greater than minus 2 to power to infinity right now. So number line or number line you can represent like this. This is from here to this. And O is a what? Open, hollow, hollow here. Because minus 2 is not included. So that can be any value in between. Even this one, this one, this one, this one. All these values are whatever the values is. There are infinite values. All these values are taken into consideration. And that can be solution of this. So when real number line. This is a real number line system. A real number. A real number line. Number line so on this just to understand this this is not part of the solution because it is not asked but uh, just to explain this i have put it like this now let us consider some questions that is question number five and what about question number five what they say solve the inequality from five to solve the inequality from five to sixteen it is given here inequality from five to sixteen 5 to 16 and question number 5 is given here that 4x plus 3 is less than 5x plus 7 so you can write here because this 4x is lesser and 5x is bigger so a small one to go to big one or even you can bring 5x this side there is no problem 5x come this side and here 7 3 will come this side in addition or subtraction there is an interchanging of positions and you know anything adding or subtracting the sign of inequality will not change this employee minus x is less than what 4 so if you multiply by minus sign inequality will change and x is greater than minus 4 so the solution will be solution can be written as greater than minus 4 to what solution will be x belong to this is also solution even you can write like this or you can write like this that minus 4 to infinity that will be the solution and you can represent like this also now question number 6 let us see question number 6 what they say this is also a question that is 3x minus 7 is greater than 5x minus 1 5x minus 1 so how to deal with this question this is 3x 5x you can do one thing and uh, same every time but what is that try to understand 
5 x will come this side this will be 3 x minus 5 x and this is minus 1 and 7 will come this side it will be plus 7. So 3 x minus 5 x is minus 2 x is greater than 6. If you divide by minus 2 the sign of inequality will change greater than will change by less than and 6 divided by minus 2 that is 6 divided by minus 2. We divide by negative sign so inequality of sign will change that is x is less than what minus 3 and therefore solution can be written as solution is what solution is x belong to minus infinity to minus 3 and both are open interval i hope you got the point okay so similar questions are there and you will be able to solve it i am sure uh, that you will do that but a uh, few questions i would like to tell you again that uh, something different may be there. Okay. 3 times of x minus 1 less than equal to 2 times of x minus 3. If you want to solve it, then you can write it 3x minus 3 is less than equal to 2x minus 6. 2x will come this side. So, 3x minus 2x is less than minus 6 plus 3. Minus 3 will come this side. It will be plus. So, this employee x is less than minus 3 less than equal to minus 3 and therefore solution is x belong to we can say uh, minus 3 is included but infinity never included na? so least value is minus infinity and greatest value is minus 3 so we can write it minus infinity to 3 that is semi closed interval so i hope you got it now uh, question number 8 question number 8 is there and 8 is also written like 3 times of 2 minus x is greater than 2 times of 1 minus x. If you want to solve it, then how to deal with this question? Let us think about this. Again, the same process you can apply. That is 3 into 2, that is 6 minus 3x is greater than or equal to 2 minus 2x. 3x will uh, come this side. Uh, it will be minus 3x plus 2x is greater than 2 and 3 to the 6. 6 will come this side. So that will be minus x is greater than minus 4. If you multiply with the negative sign, sign of inequality will change both the sides. Right now, greater than equal to will be less than. Right now, or minus minus will be plus. So sign of inequality will change and therefore solution will be solution can be written as x belong to minus infinity to 4 this is a semi closed interval i hope you got this and you are getting all these points very clear now uh, let us solve one more question that is question number 9 and question number 9 is given something different x plus x by 2 plus x by 3 this is a fractional addition is less than 11 x by 3 this one x by 3 is less than 11 so uh, there is not it is not a big issue to deal with this fraction similar uh, fashion in similar fashion you can solve it that lcm is 6 this will be 6x plus 3x plus 2x is less than 11 and the 6 can come this side 6 plus 3 9 to 11x is less than 11 into 6 6 will come this side it will multiply and therefore x will be 11 into 6 by 11 11 11 cancel and hence x is less than 6 and therefore solution will be solution will be x belong to minus infinity to 6 that will be answer now there is a question number 10 x by 3 is greater than x by 2 plus 1 in the similar way you can do this uh, x minus 2 is greater than 1 and that can be LCM is 6 and this will be 2x minus 3x is greater than 1. So that will be minus x by 6 is greater than 1 which will be uh, minus x is greater than 6 and if you write multiply by negative sign that will be x is less than minus 6 and hence solution set will be like the uh, solution will be there for solution age what is solution solution will be x belong to minus infinity to minus 6 that will be answered 
right now. So hopefully you will do that. And question number eleven is there. And question number eleven is three times of x minus two upon five is less than five equal to five times of two minus x upon three. So that can come like three multiply this side it will be nine times of x minus two. Five will come this side it will multiply twenty five times of two minus x. Now this will be two nine to the eighteen. 9x minus 18, that will be 9x minus 18 is less than 50 minus 25x. So 25x will come this side and it will be positive, right now. So 9x plus 25x is less than 50 minus 18. 25 plus 9 is 34x is less than 32. So x is less than 16 by 17. And that will be answer, and therefore solution set will be. Solution can be written as x belong to minus infinity to 16 by 7 close interval, and that will be answer. So I hope you got all these things right now, and it is clear. So rest of the questions you try to solve at home. If there will be anything not able to solve, we will discuss in the next class. Till then, God bless you. Bye bye. Take care.